Proving that a real number is irrational can be actually quite hard, but there are some examples, like the square root of 2, that are easy to show that they are irrational numbers. That's also the case with log 2, log in base 2 of 3, so let's see a proof. For a contradiction, let's assume that log 2 of 3 is a rational number, then there are some integers m and n with n positive such that the log 2 of 3 is a rational number and by the definition of log what this means is that uh, the power that you need to raise 2 to get 3 is m divided by n so that 2 to the m divided by n is 3. And now we're going to distinguish some cases depending on the value of m. So you see m is an integer, so it could be negative, it could be zero, or it could be positive, and the argument is a little bit different in each case. If m is zero, then what we get is that uh, two to the zero is three, but two to the zero is one, and one is definitely not three, uh, contradiction. If m is negative, then uh, this equation simplifies to 2 to the m is 3 to the n, but if m is negative, this number is actually less than 1, while if n is positive, a positive integer, then 3 to the n is bigger than 1, uh, contradiction. Finally, if m is positive, then 2 to the m and 3 to the n are two integers, but this integer is even and this one is odd. This one is even because 2 to the m can be broken as 2 times 2 to the m minus 1, and m minus 1 is a non-negative integer, while 3 to the n is a power of one odd number, which can be shown, for example, using induction, to be odd. Therefore, in all the cases we've seen, we have reached a contradiction, and we conclude that the logarithm in base 2 of 3 must be irrational. This last part can be also argued using the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, the fact that we have uniqueness of prime factorizations, so these would be two different prime factorizations, and therefore that's nonsense. But the fundamental theorem of arithmetic is a big canon to kill this fly in this case, so you can just use uh, even and odd.